Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Proverbs chapter 18, verse two. It reads as follows. Fools find no pleasure in understanding, but delight in airing their own opinions. I knew this person once who just sort of had a lot of opinions, a lot of opinions, <laughs> a lot. And the thing was they weren't some sort of malicious person who didn't, you know, have lack of concern for any and everything else. No, they were compassionate and had a compassionate heart. It's just sometimes when they kind of got going with their opinions, they didn't realize that and sharing them sort of in the way that they did, they were hurting people in the process. I was speaking to them once and I just sort of said, oh, hey, are you guys gonna do so-and-so, this sort of like little thing? And they said, no, but it was sort of the way that they said it, like they would never do something like that. And you know, it was sort of you know beneath them, even though some of the other people were kind of doing it. It was kind of like if they had an opinion, if they had a thought, they weren't afraid to share it, but they weren't afraid to share it. And if you didn't agree with it, you were kind of the fool. And again, I'm not even sure they realized they were doing this. And I don't think at all that they were doing it in sort of a malicious way. They were just sort of, you know, really, I think in their heads, they were thinking, no, this is the way it should go. This is the right way. And I think just very practically, they weren't considering anybody else, not in sort of a mean way, just like in a very factual, practical way. Like, no, this is the way it should go. And that should be it. We read in our verse today that fools take no pleasure in understanding. Rather, they delight in airing their own opinions. Meaning, you know, a person, if they aren't willing to sort of stop and understand a situation or stop and understand why a person is saying something or why a person is doing something or stop and sort of understand the kind of history or the makeup or, you know, all the details involved, but instead of stopping and caring about kind of the other factors happening, they just think, you know what? No, this is what I think. And this is what I want it to happen. This is what should happen without considering anybody else. You know, the Bible is saying they're full. Now, again, I'm not saying full in sort of like a malicious way, this could be full and just kind of maybe a prideful or a naive or maybe even an immature way. I saw this talk show once where these women were supposed to share their opinions on this particular topic. And there was this one particular woman who was just sort of, you know, kind of monopolizing the conversation. And she was just kind of sharing, you know, what she thought. And she kind of shared it in a way of like, you know, this is right. And this is how it is. And this is what's good. And even kind of she put this other woman down when she didn't agree, you know, kind of with her viewpoint. And, you know, again, she wasn't doing it in a malicious way. I think she was doing it because she thought she was helping. She thought that she was doing it in the right way, but she didn't realize like sort of in the process, maybe her delivery was just kind of a little immature. She could have kind of done it in sort of a different way and also listened to other people who also had good ideas on that topic. Friends, I think we've all done this. <laughs> I do. I think we've all done this in some sort of way or, or fashion. And I kind of think it was maybe a lot of times in our younger years, right? Where we finally get a little knowledge and a little information. We finally start understanding kind of how we think this world works. And we just can't wait to show people, you know, oh, we know this. And, you know, can't wait to share our opinions and can't wait to share that we have a little information. At some point, though, we should mature, we should learn to be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to become angry. We should realize that everybody has experiences and thoughts and ideas that God has given them. Everybody has, you know, the image of God implanted in them and they have something to say. And sometimes, you know, yes, we have all of these great ideas, but maybe other people have great ideas too. I remember I was talking to some family once and this one, you know, family member gave me this, you know, advice and this other family member said something and I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> yes, that's a really good idea. That's great advice. If you have a tendency to share your opinions, don't feel bad. This is not to condemn anyone, but at the same time, be willing to listen and be willing to kind of understand, hey, maybe they have some thoughts and ideas too. If you have a tendency to stay quiet, speak up sometimes. If a thought or idea is, you know, marinating or, or pops in your head, you may have some solid gold advice to give someone to help someone. But in both instances, let's be sure to seek understanding and coat that thing with a whole lot of love and a whole lot of patience. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that yes, you know, you remind us we should be slow to speak, slow to get angry and quick to listen. We sometimes hear that adage that we have two ears and one mouth, God, we should be listening twice the amount of time that we should be talking sometimes, God. Help us, Lord, if we are you know, very quick to speak up on things. I am in that group. Help us, Lord, to 
to take a step back, to listen more, to understand that other people have good ideas, that it's not all us sometimes, that we could get wisdom from other people, from counselors. And if we have a tendency to kind of step back and not speak up, help us to speak up a little bit more, God, because we have things to share that people haven't thought of. Help us in any case, God, to seek understanding, to be respectful, to be loving, to be kind, to be mature in our approach, God, where we are not putting people down, God, but we are cultivating an atmosphere sphere where all people feel safe and can speak up and can share love with each other. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.